Hello everyone. Welcome to QAFox.com. This is Arun Moturi. In this Selenium automation tutorial series, I am going to explain the topic Selenium HQ. What is Selenium HQ? I am going to explain about Selenium HQ in this Selenium automation tutorial series, guys. So, what is Selenium HQ? Selenium HQ is just a website, guys. You can see here seleniumhq.org, right? This is a website URL, okay? This is a website URL. Selenium HQ is a website URL. But what exactly is Selenium HQ then? It's a website URL. But uh, what actually is it, this website about? This website is the official website of Selenium, guys. Seleniumhq.org is the official website of Selenium. So, you don't have to worry guys i will be providing this website url in the description of this video so after you complete this video you can go through this url not a problem okay so what is selenium hq selenium hq is the official website of selenium so i would like to give a overview of selenium hq what actually is available at selenium hq i would like to explain in a detailed manner overview manner so that you will understand and utilize the selenium hq that is the official websites website of selenium in a better way if you understand all these stuff you can utilize the selenium hq or official website of selenium in a better way guys that's why i'm giving you the, all these overview points of selenium hq that is official website of selenium so first of all first thing that will be available at selenium hq is the information related to different components of selenium will be available so what are the different components of selenium guys selenium ide selenium rc selenium web driver selenium grid so all these four components related information will be available at the selenium hq website and also second thing is that you will be having you will be able to download different selenium components from this website because this is the original website or official website you can actually go there and blindly uh, blindly you can download all the selenium components from this website and not only the selenium components guys there are also some other third party stuff okay which are around the selenium components maybe drivers of selenium or jar files of selenium or third party things or bindings of selenium lot of things are there surrounding selenium guys based on our needs all those things you can download and not only the latest versions guys they are also providing the older versions if you are not able to find an older version of particular component you can find it in the website of the selenium hq so you can download the selenium components and their related stuff in this official website of selenium that to the latest and older versions of them third thing is third main thing is apart from information downloading they provide a lot of documentation on different topics guys whatever they feel like to be documented right they will, they have documented those stuff in the selenium hq website uh, there is a separate page dedicated to this documentation of different topics which are related to selenium components and also other thing is automation concepts Few automation concepts also they explain guys and at the same time they explain the different selenium components related things as per, they documented it very well so this official website guys so everything they documented will be very good that's the reason you can actually refer to the documentation of the selenium components and automation concepts from selenium hq website fourth thing fourth important thing is the support guys we need to get a support right suppose we got stuck somewhere or we are not able to use a particular functionality of selenium okay that no one is able to answer in the on the web suppose you suppose you got an issue and uh, you don't know whom to contact with because on the web you are not finding any solutions what is the solution guys there you can actually go to the official website of selenium that is seleniumhq.org and when you go to the support page they have they have something known as selenium groups guys okay they have something known as selenium groups where a lot of discussions happen on different topics of selenium the selenium tool topics so either you can also create a new topic guys you can have, you can also add a new topic into the selenium group and discuss there a lot of people will contribute their discussions and uh, you know right even selenium guys will contribute there and at same time you can actually go through the existing discussions and understand what actually is going with selenium okay and at same time if you have any specific issues that you want to talk to a person okay then they are providing even a chat option so you can go to the support page of selenium hq and there you have a chat option where you can communicate with the people okay uh, to clear your doubts and after that they are also providing an option to report issues suppose you are working on some selenium tools 
okay one of few of some uh, few of uh, different uh, selenium tools or components you are working on and suddenly you got an issue okay with any of the selenium tools you got an issue so what you will do is, what you will do guys you have to report it somewhere right so that it will get fixed so here is the thing in the selenium hq website these guys are providing a bug tracking tool where you can actually report your issues on which you find on selenium tool if you actually find any specific scenarios related to selenium where the selenium is not able to automate or such kind of issues you find you can go here and report your issues into this bug tracking tool so that selenium guys will later point of time will look into your issues and validate them and then fix them so that you can uh, get them fixed in the latest versions of the selenium upcoming versions of the selenium and uh, other things that are very well uh, provided in this uh, selenium hq official website of uh, selenium is like official black selenium hq has an official black blog guys where they post a lot of things okay lot of topics they post you can go through this official blog to learn a lot about selenium and then they post their events guys some some conferences and all those things they conduct so such kind of events related information they will post here on the same official website and also some news related to selenium for example uh, uh, in 2018 they have deprecated older version of selenium id so where, where can we find those news guys so it's available in selenium hq website only if you go to seleniumhq.org uh, they have this news section where you will you will have all the news like uh, selenium news like selenium id is outdated now and latest version of selenium is id is available selenium 3 is out now now selenium 4 may come in future at particular point of time all such kind of things will be part of the news they will be announcing as part of the news section on the official website of selenium now selenium other thing is selenium sponsorship guys so selenium is free right you you are not paying a single rupee or single buck for uh, actually using the selenium tool it's kind of completely free then how actually selenium guys are able to contribute to this project there should be some funding guys there should be some funding selenium obviously got lot of popularity but if no one funds it it will not run guys it will not run it will stop selenium will stop there should be some sponsors who can actually fund this selenium project so sponsors when they sponsor or fund some money they get their own benefits okay at same time it will also help the selenium in continuing their development and uh, releasing future products so even uh, there is some lot of business around selenium like it's an indirect business you can say like one thing is like it's even though it's free of cost they are arranging a lot of events right conferences people attend those conferences by paying the amount and at same time lot of people get lot of popularity here right whoever is contributing in the selenium project will get lot of popularity in the outside world okay a lot of people will follow them such kind of thing may also happen that's how it's a different story guys altogether like how selenium is running in free of uh, free in the market okay uh, the sponsorships and also ads indirect ads guys sponsorships are like indirect ads and there are a lot of people who actually donate for free guys without expecting anything from selenium also they donate to the selenium guys okay so there are different type of people like uh, they fund uh, selenium project to get, to move it forward and uh, and you can also find uh, the sponsorship related how to sponsor the selenium uh, project and at same time you can also find the sponsors who are already sponsoring this project okay they will be paying good amount of money uh, for uh, for funding the selenium and becoming the sponsors of this selenium hq official website of selenium now the last thing is the last thing that that's it uh, that you can do at selenium hq is like you can contribute this even you, you are actually using selenium for automating your uh, automation scripts uh, test cases and all those stuff but at same time uh, if you are very much interested in moving back uh, like uh, in depth into the selenium project they are giving an option to download their complete project guys you can go to say official website of selenium and simply download the open source code of selenium completely dump complete dump of selenium you can download into your computer guys later if you are too technical guy then you can uh, you can go through the open source code and because the code is completely open to everyone guys everyone can do whatever they want okay they can distribute they can modify they can change they can study the code they can read the code okay all those things we can do so such kind of code selenium code is actually open on github actually they are sharing it on github in open way so you can actually go through that and participate in the code development there okay or you can test the code or you can document different things related to selenium in the website of selenium hq like this 
they they are in, uh, they are actually asking for different contributions from the community testing community so if you are interested to contribute you can go here and then uh, go to this uh, selenium edge official website of selenium and go to this contribution section and do whatever you are interested in this so that's all about the different contributions right? like uh, overview of selenium hq like a lot of things are there right uh, it's not a selenium hq website uh, most of the people they know uh, they actually understand that selenium hq is official website of selenium but uh, they actually don't go through all these pages of uh, selenium hq and see what actually is there inside the selenium hq right there, so whatever i explained in the last slide is actually what is selenium hq the official website of selenium a lot of things are going around this uh, selenium hq guys anyhow so since i explained everything in a theoretical manner what i want to do is now i want to i want to practically take you to the official website of selenium and then in a step by step manner i would like to explain you the different things available at selenium hq since now you have understood the theoretical concepts of selenium hq now i want to practically demonstrate to you or walk through walk through through the complete official website of selenium hq to understand those things in a practical manner so let's get started with the walk through session guys of selenium hq that is official website of selenium so this is uh, my chrome browser guys uh, i am on google page so let me search for selenium hq and when you search for selenium hq here it will first of all give you a website that is official website of selenium that is seleniumhq.org this is the first link guys click on this link it will take you to the official website of selenium and uh, by default it will take you to the landing page of selenium by default it will take you to the landing page of selenium so uh, it is explaining at a high level what actually selenium is what are the different components of selenium here some links they are providing some sponsors who are actually sponsoring this uh, selenium project they are fund these guys are uh, whatever the logos of the companies you are seeing right these guys are actually contributing or funding the selenium project to move forward even though selenium is free of cost just because of these guys who are contributing here the selenium is being funded and uh, we are actually using it for free of cost okay and you can see some selenium new section is there few things are here and there on the landing page important things they kept on the landing page now let's go page by page guys so this is the landing page now let's go page by page let's go to the first page first tab that is projects page here you will find all the information related to different components of selenium as i mentioned in the overview part of the slide right so that is different selenium pro uh, selenium projects that uh, that are contributed by the selenium guys uh, so that is selenium web driver selenium grid selenium ide and selenium remote control these are the four different components of selenium and if you want to learn this four components of selenium in a detailed manner you can actually open them in the new tabs or you can actually click on these links so that uh, they have more information for you about these different components of selenium you can read through this if you want to learn more you can actually go through the more detailed documentation you see they have a separate documentation for selenium web driver similarly for selenium grid guys they are maintaining a wiki page like this you can go through the wiki page and see what actually is uh, beneficial for you okay if you want to learn these components in detail you can actually come here and learn it and coming to the third third link that is selenium ide they they, they have like uh, they are putting the download links for selenium ide uh, now the latest version of selenium ide which got released in august 2018 is available in the chrome browser and firefox browser also you can download from here and install them in your chrome or firefox browsers you can also download the zip file of this thing so this is official uh, like official page of selenium ide now right on the official website of selenium that is selenium hq now the last link that is selenium remote control this is deprecated already but if you still want to learn what actually uh, used to be there in selenium remote control which used to be the popular one in the earlier days of the market okay so you can actually go through the documentation of uh, the complete selenium rc to understand how we migrated from selenium rc to selenium web driver nowadays fine so these are the uh, information related to different projects on the official website of selenium now you can also go to the downloads page where you can actually download a lot of stuff guys so if you want to download the latest stuff you can actually download from this uh, page directly okay a lot of things are there on this page you see a lot of links are there on this page you can use any of these links to actually download the latest versions of this selenium but in case if you want to uh, download the previous uh, versions then uh, you can see on the left side there is something known as previous releases you can click here and download the previous releases okay 
for example here selenium latest version is 3.141 if you want to download the latest version you can download from here otherwise you can go to the previous releases and find the version let's say i want to uh, go with the 2.53.1 version 2.53 so and here you see some 2.53.1 selenium java 2.53.1 version is there i can download if i want from here okay like this guys uh, they are providing the older versions uh, repository also and uh, here let's go through this one by one so selenium standalone server this particular thing is required in selenium uh, grid concept guys uh, where you execute your scripts uh, distribute your tests across multiple machines so i will be explaining about this concept in the future uh, sessions so you don't have to worry now but i am just explaining this belongs to selenium grid guys selenium grid sorry. selenium grid one of the component of selenium where you need this uh, in selenium grid configuration you may need this selenium standalone server now let's move to the next one internet explorer driver server they are giving here so if you want to execute your automation scripts on internet explorer browser then you need this driver server for you in addition to whatever you have in the selenium code you need this driver server a exe file maybe you can download from here if your, your machine is 32 bit you can download here 64 bit you can download here that's fine so 32 bit works in both 32 bit and 64 also now uh, these things I will explain this thing in the upcoming session, guys. You don't. I'm just explaining at high level for now. Okay. Don't. Uh, if you don't understand, just leave it for now. Now the other thing is like, as I mentioned already in the previous sessions that, in the previous sessions of this video series, I explained that Selenium supports different languages, right? That too, Selenium web driver supports different languages like Java, C sharp, Python, and all. So if you want to work with the Java language with the Selenium web driver, then you have to download here. If you want to work with a C sharp language with the Selenium web driver, you have to download from here. Ruby here, like the different languages have their own downloads here. And uh, uh, Selenium ID, if you want to download the Selenium ID, okay, uh, they are providing the latest version here. And if you want to go with the older versions of Selenium ID, they are also providing the link here where you can go here and download the whatever the possible older versions of Selenium ID from here, okay. Now, Apart from the Selenium, so few other companies like uh, Microsoft or Google company are also contributing to the Selenium. Okay, so Selenium is not all uh, not the only company that is building all the stuff that is related to Selenium, guys. But uh, there are other third-party companies or third-party drivers that we require. For example, if you want to execute your automation scripts on Google Chrome browser, okay. So what is happening? Uh, what's happening here is that Google company is giving you this uh, Chrome driver, which will work with the latest version of the Chrome browser. So without this, you cannot run your automation scripts on the Chrome browser. So Google company is third party. That's why we are saying third party. Here, Google is a third party. Similarly, if you want to execute your automation scripts on uh, Firefox browser, this Mozilla company is giving you some driver known as Geeko driver. Okay, like that, all the different Microsoft company is giving supporting for Edge driver. So these companies are developing these drivers and giving for Selenium. Selenium is just uh, putting this as links in their website so that you can like that many third party things are there based on their need third party people are coming here and uh, providing all the late required details to the official website of selenium and uh, from there you can download and use now apart from that if you want to contribute to the selenium project entirely you want to download the complete source code of selenium because i, because I mentioned that selenium is an open source right selenium is open source that means its its code is open to everyone you can you can have the permissions to edit or change or read through the code so click on the source code it will take you to the github page where you will find all the code related to the selenium you can actually download the dump of this selenium code into your system also okay if i have to download the complete selenium code into my machine i can download it from here and then i can actually go through the selenium code contribute modify change okay a lot of people do that okay a lot of technical people will do that now go to the documentation i mentioned documentation selenium also provides some documentation related to different components of selenium at same time they also provide some documentation related to some automation concepts initially they provided automation concepts you see so test automation for web applications to automate or not to automate these are automation related uh, stuff documentation of documentation whereas from selenium id they just started providing all the documentation related to different components of selenium here till selenium grid they provided a lot of uh, documentation is there guys uh, you don't have to go through all this documentation guys okay so this looks good but uh, this is not the correct time for you guys to actually go through and investigate all this documentation so when you are good with selenium then you can come back here and then learn all this stuff okay for now leave it in future when you are good with selenium and you have ample amount of time then you can go through each and every link provided here and understand 
this documentation because this is official means it will be like a very trustworthy and uh, whatever the details that are provided will be very accurate now let's move to the support part fourth fourth uh, page that is support page where as i already mentioned we have a user group okay these guys have a user group so you can join this use selenium user group you can join the selenium user group and uh, you can actually post new new discussions okay new topic you can post or you can actually discuss on the uh, you can actually go through the existing topics or contribute to the existing discussions so if you if you are facing anything and you wanted to discuss with the group of selenium users then you can come here at this place and then actually you can start the discussions or uh, or participate in the existing discussions whatever it is uh, for you and then if you have, if you want to personally chat with one person because of uh, some reasons like you have an issue or something then you have they are providing something known as chat room so you can go to this chat room and then you can enter your name and then connect and then chat with those guys to resolve your things now if if you find any issue okay in selenium in any of the selenium components or tools if you find any issue you can come here you can open this bug tracker okay and uh, you can report these issues you can report the new issue here and at the same time you can see the existing issues in this in the list okay few people have already uh, reported issues uh, they may a lot of people work on different aspects guys so they may find some lot of issues so uh, some issue related to our programming is there here some issue related to c is there like that many things may be there here you can come here and then uh, either report issues or go through the existing issues if you if you want and as i already mentioned selenium this project of selenium is being run by the sponsors only you can click on the sponsors page so that you can find all the different sponsors like browser stack source labs okay uh, cross browser testing tool right uh, source labs cloud cloud platform for uh, cross browser testing like that cross browser testing lot of companies are there their logos are mentioned here micro focus is another company like there many companies are signatory is uh, uh, independent testing company uh, jet brains uh, which is a creator of the intellij uh, id like that many different catalon studio is also supporting that that's good to know and lot of things are there here guys lot of the uh, companies who want to actually uh, name their brands okay selenium level sponsors if they want to enter they can enter here and all their logos will be displayed here okay when they pay the money selenium guys will be displaying the uh, this particular logos you see when when someone comes here and sees their logos uh, it like uh, their, their brand value may increase right uh, that's that that actually how how this is how the business runs okay this is how the selenium business runs and now uh, when you go to support page we are done with the support page guys and uh, selenium guys are itself uh, mentioning that certifications are not recommended here okay certifications and training they are not supporting any third party certifications or trainings and finally coming to the about section where you can see the news block as i already mentioned in news they will be announcing all this stuff like selenium id is deprecated now the latest version of selenium id is outdated if you go through this article they mentioned that older version of selenium id is deprecated on august 2018 they removed it and in place of the older version they released a new latest version of selenium id uh, and uh, somewhere they mentioned that selenium 3.0 okay is released into the market so a uh, lot of people used to use selenium 2.0 now uh, like everyone is using selenium 3.0 4.0 is not in the market now as per today and uh, this kind of news you can get from this and uh, they have a blog this, uh, they have a blog also you can go to the blog they will allow, announce the same kind of news in the blog also okay a lot of blog posts are there here if uh, anything is specific to you you can go through them and events in the events they will be uh, in the events they will be posting all the different uh, events they are uh, conducting conferences selenium conferences event all those stuff will be there here and uh, any recordings are there they are providing here you can go through this recording if you are interested now sponsors already showed you sponsorship and how to sponsor the process for sponsoring the selenium everything is there here okay you can go through them guys these are not that much important at this point of time but if you are if you want to know actually about all this stuff you can actually go ahead and then understand how the sponsoring works and how they place the logos uh, and how much amount i need to pay to get into the sponsoring list and can i do non monetary don donations if i have to do the donations how i have to do the donation you see they are giving different options here like this guys and uh, other one is you can understand who made selenium like uh, there like selenium contributors so i will not take you through all the contributors but at a high level i will uh, i will explain you few important people on selenium that is stewart simon this guy is uh, like uh, on selenium web driver okay uh, uh, he is currently working for selenium web driver is uh, still contributing there okay Sim, uh, simon 
Stewart Simon. And uh, other guy is like uh, uh, this one, uh, light body Patrick. Uh, this guy is for Se Selenium RC, which is duplicated now. But this guy is like Selenium ID, Kasatani and uh, Shinya from some different country, like Selenium ID. Okay. So from 2005, we into, into, involved since 2005. Like that, guys, uh, high level people are there here. Okay. Uh, these are the different high level people, and a lot of people are also contributing to the Selenium project. And uh, if you want to know the history of Selenium, you can actually go here and find it out. Okay. So from the beginning days, how the Selenium started and uh, what is the current situation, all, all those tip, all those things are mentioned in the history. Ecosystem. Ecosystem is something where like uh, what is surrounding the Selenium. Okay. Which companies are uh, using Selenium for different type of purposes? Maybe SaaS Lab is a cloud platform to run the Selenium test. So one what kind of relation between the Selenium and SaaS Labs is there? Like that, many things are there. Tanerox tool is there. A lot of things are there. Okay commercial or non-commercial uh, commercial people around the selenium so this is the selenium ecosystem if you want to know find out the complete selenium ecosystem of selenium you can come here and understand what actually is happening around selenium and uh, if you want to get involved like if uh, as i already mentioned if you want to develop the code or if you want to uh, support them in testing the existing code or you want to support them in documenting on selenium then this is a place guys you can come here and contribute in all the different ways and uh, finally documentation that you have already seen so this is this is at a high level guys of selenium hq the official website of selenium uh, so you don't have to go through all these pages uh, now at this point of time because there are a lot of sessions that are coming up once you are done and once you are free then you can come back again and then go through all these websites and explore more so that you will get lot lot out of this official web website of selenium so that's it guys uh, that's it about the selenium hq the official website of selenium so thank you guys bye